test on the back end to see if everything's working right. Let's see if I got both. Yes, I Hello, Caboose. How you doing there, buddy? Well, let's kick this off the right way. Ladies, gentlemen, pronouns, lend me your ears. Crazy kid, back for another live. Yeah, I think we're going to talk about just fun stuff. You've been worse? Yeah, I've been worse, too. <laughs> we've, all, we've all had them days in We've been better. We've been worse. Aloha, Lost in Paradise. How you doing, my friend? <clears throat> yeah, um, it, the last couple of days around here have been super nice outside. Like, I actually was able to walk to my parents' place for family dinner, which I haven't done in a long time uh, because my back has been hurting so so long. Um, I was able to walk there. I had the sun beating down on my back. I was just like, oh, yeah. This is the way it needs to be. Give me that heat. <laughs> oh. Um, you know, when I was walking on my way to my parents' place yesterday, I, I was thinking to myself, you know, we have a lot of different like really, really different and comical uh, uh, sayings in you know in our languages. Uh, every, every language has their own comical sayings that you know they probably made sense at the time. Hey, John, how you doing? They probably made sense at the time, but they coin you know people have coined phrases that if you look at them, they make no sense whatsoever. Like you know, oh, I saw it out of the corner of my eye. Really now, my eyeballs are round. There's no corners in my eyes. So where did they come up with that idea? Or I'll be back in a jiffy. Hey, Kiki and Jasmine, how you doing? The system took down your stream. But YouTube took down your stream? Lynn is happy every day. How are you doing? Uh, back in a jiffy. Heard that. Yeah, back in a jiffy. So you're coming back in peanut butter. Or are you coming back as peanut butter? Or are you coming back wearing peanut butter? Huh, wonder why. I've never had a uh, an issue uh, personally uh, with uh, the live stream being taken down for any reason. Oh, and Flowers and Nicole, how are you doing? Oh, I've been running into a lot of blocked everywhere videos lately. It's been really tough to – oh, yeah, peanut butter is good. It has been really tough to uh, – uh, get the videos out when they're blocked everywhere and I got to wait the 30 days for them to, you know, release the copyright so that I can release the video. Um, if it's just, you know, copyright claim, I can put my dispute in and then money goes into escrow until the decision gets made. God, I have no idea. I, I, I'd have to, I'd have to see all the circumstances. Um, I wonder if you got a uh, copyright or uh, not a copyright, but a, a removal request from somebody making a false uh, claim on you. Um, but uh, uh, not really, because uh, I, I win most of my uh, disputes. A lot of the disputes that I uh, put in, um, they uh, they don't do anything about it. So 30 days later, I get my, I get all the uh, revenue out of it. So Realistically, it's not really a waste of time. So, you know, like it's just the way it works. You know, once you uh, once you 
learn how the process and how the system works. You just play your game accordingly. You uh, you know you build up your videos so that your the, the the copyright release is before the video gets released. Oh, everybody has a right to their own opinion. Um, as long as the opinion that you're expressing isn't defamatory towards somebody or accusing them of something that didn't happen. So, you know, if your opinion is clean, like, you know, do you think that uh, disputes are a waste of time? That's that's your total opinion. That's your, uh, you know, like that's your... Yeah, that's very funny, Church of uh, Psychotic Wing Nut. Oh, yeah, a certain creator loves to make false claims. I uh, won't mention, it, mention their name on this channel. But, now yeah, I, I know who we're all referring about. <coughs> they also like to give bad advice and everything. Um, but uh, that's, uh, we're not going to mention names on the channel um, until... I have solid proof that it is that particular channel. And then after that, I'm going to come down fucking hard on them. So. And I've got people working on finding out who that channel, who that, who those channels belong to. Um, so, uh, you know, like, once I get the information, then I'm gonna I'm gonna make the correct information public about the specific person and their tactics and their what they've done. Uh, I need some energy and positive energy. Oh, what happened on Friday? Yeah, I, uh, all these people that are accusing me of these, um, uh, alleged crimes that they think that I've committed, if they think it's so easy to find the um, information, bring it forward. Bring it forward. Show me the legitimate uh, Canadian. Um, hello, it's Wang. How are you doing, Rowena? Show me the legitimate and legal Canadian uh, court documents stating the cases that you're talking about and if they are legitimate then I'll call the police on myself but they're not legitimate so you can keep that shit to yourself and you can quit accusing me of that shit because that is slander and that is liable and that is against the law and YouTube is actually looking at shit like that. Hey, George Perry, how you doing? Thanks again live for last week. I really appreciate that. That put me in the best mood ever. Um, I was in a real dumpy mood uh, last week. And uh, uh, when you, uh, you uh, generously donated last week, I, that, that just made my heart go up. I really thank you very much. That made my whole week. Um, 
Yeah, I've been uh, having a little bit of trouble lately with the uh, copyright issues. Uh, I've been bumping into uh, uh, I've been bumping into a lot of block worldwide videos, and you know you can't put them out; <laughs> they just won't let you show them. So uh, until the the dispute wanes out after thirty days, then you know you're free reign. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the weather's starting to get nice. Like I've been wearing shorts the last couple days outside. I actually walked to my parents' place in shorts. It takes about 45, 50 minutes to get from here to my parents' place. And I was comfortable walking with shorts and t-shirt. Here it is, the 15th of April. <laughs> so, you know, the weather's looking up. And we're all looking up for the weather. <laughs> So did everybody catch that um, uh, eclipse that happened last week? Where where I'm at in on the on the ball, um, the, uh, uh, the 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 moon never really covered the entire thing. There was still that little dot left over, and they call that the diamond ring. I'm letting my dog out. And my neighbor's daughter came flying around the corner and didn't look at all except the dog. Thankfully, he ran off in time to the side of the house. Ooh. Ooh. That's, uh, that, that'd be scary. You know, a lot of people, they, uh, they, they treat their dogs like a, a member of the family. They, they treat their, their pets as a member of the family. And, you know, that'd be like just having, that'd be almost like having your child rushing out into the street. been in the 80s here in Missouri. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, we had 75 yesterday, and I don't know what it brought up to today. So. Um, but, uh, yeah, these uh, these people, they keep following me around. I was on uh, three other uh, channels. And these people keep following me around. I couldn't afford the eclipse. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Um, uh, what else have we got coming on? Um, next month, uh, we have the uh, the Retro Fest uh, coming up. And I'm looking at going to that. Oh, yeah, I'd be pissed, too. Um, we got Retrofest coming up, and uh, I may end up just end up taking pictures and, um, like, taking pictures of uh, the cars, taking pictures of the, uh, the the show and stuff like that, and then posting that on the community wall. Um, just as, uh, you know, like, you know, here's, here's what we got going on. Uh, so... Uh, you know, because I, I don't trust my phone to to do that kind of uh, heavy loading. Uh, I want to keep it in case. You know, I want to keep the battery in case uh, uh, I, you know, I need to make a phone call. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we got some some big things coming up in my family. Um, you know, parents are getting up there. This year is going to be their 56th wedding anniversary. And, you know, for pe two people to hang around each other for that long, that's an accomplishment. That's the kind of, that's the kind of, uh, you know, household situation I wish everybody had. You know, where you just said, you know, today, you know, today we're going to, we're going to stay forever and mean it. <clears throat> and they said forever you know, back in 1968. So. And they've they've kept it together all this time. Yeah. Um, what else have we got going on here? Um, uh, yeah, 
bed, shorts, weather. I've been putting my jacket away uh, after I clean it. You know, I'm going to wash it up and give it a good wash and give it a good clean. And then put it away for the summertime. Um, uh, what we got coming up, coming down the pipeline. We got uh, uh, Dan Vask, uh, uh, Africa, the total cover. You know, um, uh, it was an 80s song by Toto, Toto called Africa. Um, and then uh, Fourth Impact uh, with Matoy doing uh, Impossible Dreams. Uh, I couldn't find a, um, a version of them doing Impossible Dreams that wasn't from somebody's cell phone in the middle of a crowd at a concert. And I hate them kind of videos. So I just went for their, uh, their live stream that they had, the level up live stream that they had with Matoy. And uh, he's actually quite a, quite the addition to this song. Uh, and then we have uh, Sawyer Brown, Another Side, uh, a song depicting the Civil War. And then uh, Belinda Carlisle, uh, Heaven is a Place on Earth. And that's all coming down the pipeline for the next about week and a half. Yeah, I, I, I didn't uh, see the notification come out uh, until like this morning that they had the uh, the live stream. It was like, oh, Fourth Impact was live four or 15 hours ago. I'm like, oh, great. Thanks for telling me now. You know, if I had got the notification, you know, when they went, I'd have been on. Because I love their live streams. Uh, you may have to resend uh, your uh, uh, requests because uh, I had it on a on a, uh, a WordPad file that I had open on my computer, and all of a sudden Windows did an update and lost it. And I was like, "Son of a gun!" So. Actually able to crack my back, feeling good. Actually be able to spin it, more comfortable. Um, what else we got going on here? Uh, what well, Domino's tonight, and they got this new thing here in my area. It's this Philly steak cheese stuff, greater stuff bread. Oh. Oh, is that a yummy to have happen? Yum, yum, yum. Man, I hope they keep that on the menu. Oh, that made my taste buds dance and want more. Um, yeah, I've been getting all kinds of really, really offbeat requests. Um, People want me to do uh, like religious porn or uh, rap, um, doing you know all these different songs in different languages. I'm like, if I can't understand it, I can't promote it. And if I can't promote it, then you know I'm not going to put it on my channel. If it's not something that you know I feel comfortable promoting. I'm not going to put it on the channel. So. You know, like that's that's part of the the whole thing. You know, it's my channel for you guys to, to watch if you like the videos. And I try to put out videos that you guys like. I really wish these people would get a fucking life. All they want to do is just accuse people blankly of false with false accusations they do not and will not provide any kind of proof that what they're saying is true they lie 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 and the more you lie the less people are going to actually uh, actually believe what you say so 
go on and keep lying. And then when you go and face the judge, and then I prove that you're just doing nothing but lying, they're just going to send your ass to jail. So fuck it. Uh, recovering from a sinus infection. Ooh. Yeah, it, 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 it's funny how the weather will affect the human body that much. And it just goes to show you how, like, really how insignificant human existence really is in comparison to the power of Mother Nature. So, you know, once we understand that compilation and that relationship, you know, what are you going to be able to do about climate change? Nothing. Sit back and enjoy it. That's what you do about it. What's impacted the Apostle Green Live? I just saw this yesterday in the live in a concert where they got standing ovation, standing ovation. Yeah. Oh, yeah, big time. Um, there was a lot like uh there was a lot of videos that i saw of the impossible dream being done by fourth impact the biggest problem is it was they were all done on a cell phone where you could hardly hear the uh like you couldn't hear the, the vocals clearly because you have this massive uh amount of uh music coming towards the microphone of the camera Plus, you have all these people shouting around. The, the words of the song get lost in the uh, in, in the uh, the microphone. So that's why I don't like those ones where people go, oh, I, I, I took a video of it. Good for you. Can you actually hear the songs? There's these people here that are accusing me of all this shit. Don't even delete their message. Just just ban them from the channel. Just hit, hide them from the channel. I don't want to deal with them ever again. I got all kinds of room in that band in the bandwagon. They can they can they can fill it up. Plus, when it comes to the replay, I can take screenshots of what they said. And uh, add that as in proof of these people are just continuously making more accounts and more accounts and more accounts just to harass me. And the more accounts that they make and the more accounts that I can prove go back to them, the, the, the deeper the harassment pile gets. So... You know, just hide them from the channel. Just don't even don't even waste the time deleting their message. Just hide them from the channel. Uh, uh got caught inside battered by ooh. Oh, the storm Kathleen. Wow. Yeah, we, anybody on the coastal territories, yeah, be super, super careful. If you see that, that shoreline going out, going away from land, go the other way. Get the hell away from where the shore was because it's going to be coming back at a full head of steam. Just like that tsunami in uh, where was it India, where the the or Japan or Japan where the, the the beach fucked off for two miles. Yeah, it just it just went out to sea for like two miles. It was like, well, that sucks. They said we have waterfront uh, view, and we're gonna have to go all the way over there. And then when it came back, it came back twice as fast. And just took a whole bunch of stuff with it. 
Which way did the animals go? The opposite direction. There was like, what, over a thousand people that lost their life in that? Not one member of the uh, animal kingdom. They all said, Mother Nature's taking a stretch. I'm getting out of here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mother Nature takes a stretch. You know, you want to get the, you want to get the heck out of Dodge. And uh, uh, but uh, yeah, these people say you know have some respect. They should have some respect and actually freaking respect other people rather than. Accuse them of something that they didn't do. You want to prove that I did it? Cough up the cough up the court the, the official court documents from those cases, and we'll see if they're real or not. I'll guarantee there is none. Yeah, it's good to hear. It. It's good to see that you guys are all right. You know with that dangerous uh, weather coming. What else can we uh, shoot the breeze about? Oh, it was nice to see Chase Elliott win the race yesterday. Man, it was, it's been a long time since that man has won a race. 42 race winless streak. And, uh, you know, he's back in the saddle again. He's got this car figured out now, and I hope there's going to be more to come. I'm, a, I'm not a Chase Elliott fan, so to speak. I am a Rick Hendricks manufacturer uh, uh, fan. I, I I like all the drivers in Rick Hendricks' uh, fleet. So, severe thunderstorm warning tonight. Wow. We got clear skies where I'm at. So, yeah, I wish these people would get a life. You know. If I occupy that much space in their head, I would hate to have to pay rent. Yeah, I know that's what they want. And thank you very much, Kiki and Jasmine. I really appreciate that. That you you have no idea how much that makes me feel. How good that makes me feel that you know people actually care about me. You know, people actually care that you know somebody's trying their hardest to to make a situation better for themselves. Whereas you have people like that who see somebody who's trying hard to make a better situation for themselves, and they try to tear them down. They try to tear them apart. Those are the kind of people that should not be on, on uh, YouTube. YouTube was supposed to be actually um, a dating site. It was actually designed to be a dating site where you made a video of your profile. You made your profile video. And people, you know, click like, share, subscribe. But the thing about it is some dude made a cat video. <laughs> he had a cat in his video. And the cat video got more likes, got more subscribers, it got more attention, it got more views than anything else on the entire platform uh, over the, the, the course of the time that the platform was available at the time. And this stupid cat video got like millions and millions of views back when there was hardly anybody on the platform. So all of a sudden they're like, yeah, we're switching this up to like, you know, regular videos, doing regular, regular, um, you know, just any kind of content that, you know, we can put out. And, you know, from there it's been, you know, Yeah, can you imagine how miserable your life has to be 
to want to bring somebody else's existence down to your down to a level past you like you've got to be one miserable person yeah what's the point what's the point in lying about somebody else's you know somebody else's per personality it makes no sense. It makes no sense whatsoever to slander somebody you don't know, you've never met. And for what? Because it's getting you hard? You're getting your kicks? You're getting your little rocks off? To, you know, degrade somebody you don't even know with stuff that you can't even prove because it doesn't exist. All you're doing is just showing everybody how much of a fucking miserable prick you are. So, you know, I could be I could be a miserable prick, too, but I don't want to be. I don't I didn't like my I didn't like it when I was like that. So, and I've changed since then. It's time that those people there take a really good look inside and find out how how much they really want to have that kind of stress and that kind of bullshit follow them around for the rest of their life. To let everybody know on the internet that they are nothing but a liar. They are nothing but a criminal. You know, that they will bend over backwards to break the law. That's not who I am. I try to do, I try my best to help people out. I try my best to make people laugh, to enjoy their time here on earth. I find that more enjoyable. When you get people like that, that all they want to do is create chaos and misery it's pretty hard to you know be joyful and try to bring people up when people are there just bringing that one person down so as far as i'm concerned i wish youtube would give the creator the opportunity to actually pump that freaking uh i like find out who that where that ip address is and just kick the entire ip address off their channel watch somebody else Go watch somebody else. I don't care. Just go watch somebody else. Uh, but, uh, yeah, and, and take a look at this last uh, one that uh, Kabusho uh, hidden from my, my channel. Take a look at the name of that. Telly Puffs on Donkey Dicks. Like, Really? YouTube should be a stress-free environment. Exactly. Trolls are just projecting their own personality upon another person. And whatever I did to this person, I, I probably didn't do anything to this person. This person just freaking troll that sits underneath the bridge and waits for somebody, you know, achieving something, some sort of success to come along to try to pull you under the bridge. Hey, it's a But, uh, yeah, I, I, I try my best not to let it bother me. But when it happens as often as it's been happening and when I get as much resistance as I've been getting lately, I just want to literally take this matter into my own hands, find these people, and deal, deal justice with them the way it used to be dealt back in the Middle Ages. And that's the biggest reason why we have this kind of problem. People are not in check anymore because we're not allowed to discipline the children. We're not allowed to teach them that there's consequences for your action. And when you they do something 
all of a sudden we have these groups saying, oh, that does not fit the crime. You need to be more lenient on that mass murderer. Really? That mass murderer is lucky he didn't get a bullet in his head when it when he got arrested. You know, like if it would be me, I'd I'll take the I'll, I'll take the go for somebody. I'll, I'll you know I'll make sure this isn't gonna happen again. You know, like before, if you were stealing something, they took your hand off. If you killed somebody, they took your head off. You know, like, there was major consequences for people's actions, and it kept them in check. Now, what do we have? What do we keep people in check with? Oh, the news. Oh, they tell everybody about how bad things are getting. You know, oh, these kind of people are doing these kind of things, causing social divide. Shouldn't be doing that. That's why I quit watching the news 25 years ago. Um, thing about it is, John, they, they are not going to leave me alone until, you know, they actually have to pay their consequences. Exactly. Like, these people that go around trolling everybody, they're nothing but useless pieces of skin that need to be freaking shaved off and discarded. Like, when uh, there was a, uh, a video that went around uh, about the elite billionaires of the world all getting together on this island saying, oh, you know, we're going to create our own civilization here and let the world just rot. The thing about it is, how are they determined? Who are they to determine who survives? Just because they have money? As soon as the rest of the world doesn't or they, they don't have, like, they have the rest of the world to do whatever they want because everybody else is gone? Who are they, like, how are they going to repopulate the planet? They can't. The people that are the richest in the world right now, a lot of them, a lot of them will, uh, uh, or have already gone past the uh, reproduction age. So, you know, like, who are they to, to, to read, you know, to say what goes on in the world? They're going to be gone in the next 30 years. You know, Yeah, I've had it with that Jessica Rabbit channel. Anybody else smell a trap on that one too? Yeah. Well, it's not so much 
you know, being rich to be able to look down on somebody. We need each other. Like, um, no, it's not one of my supporters. Um, the rich put up the businesses. They put up the capital. The middle class, they do the work to keep those buildings floating, keep them going. The poor are the ones that spend all their money to survive. You need that middle class, that buffer of people that are working and getting just that little bit ahead and have that ability to save that little bit extra money or a little bit extra capital to become one of the bigger rich people. <laughs> the poverty line, people below that poverty line, they have no chance. They just get what's left. The only chance they have is to become the middle class. It's a stepping stone. The only way that the uber rich can stay uber rich is if they have that middle class that's willing to do the work to keep their businesses running. Period. That's how business works. Yeah, if those those people that are just making those accounts, they're just sad individuals who need to feel like they're better than somebody else by diminishing that other person. Well, I'm sorry, but if you're going to be a person is diminishing a person, another person, you are not better than them. You are worse than them. Otherwise, you would want to aspire to become like them. One of the things I learned from Fourth Impact was you learn from the people that you, you insp that inspire you, that are where you want to be in life. You take inspiration from that and adjust what you're doing so that you can achieve some sort of success in the path on their wake. Just like uh, Rick Allen from Def Leppard. Dude lost his right arm. It was right or left? No, his left arm. He lost his left arm. Sorry. Lost his left arm. He was the drummer. And he says, no, I'm still going to be the drummer. I'll find another way. He, they, they made him a set of foot pedals and stuff like that that he can keep up the beat. And it still sounds like there's a dude behind him on another set of drums, whapping up, whapping the shit out of them pigskins. That's right. Believe and achieve. And when I heard that he lost his arm, like back in the eighties, when I saw that, you know, oh wow, Def Leppard put on a new re new record. I liked their stuff before, like Paranoia and you know, uh, uh, like their Paranoia album and. Uh, uh, couple of their albums before that. I liked a few of their songs before. When I heard um, the uh, Hysteria album and heard that the drummer was actually doing it with one hand, I was like, oh, my God. And then to hear that, you know, I listened to the drums. Like I was specifically listening to the drum. And I was like, it still sounds like the dude's an octopus and he's got like eight, eight hands going, you know. I mean, well, he just he's, he, it must feel like an like a marathon after he's done a concert. I'll bet that dude's out of breath after a few songs. I know I'd be. Yeah, believe and achieve. And the only one standing in your way of your success is you, because you're the only one who can stop you. Everybody else can try. 
but you're the only one who can actually pull the pin and call it quits. Um, what else can we talk about? Uh, uh, Trolls even appear in John or Tiki and Jasmine's uh, channel. Uh, John Cazell. Uh, Cazell or whatever. I don't. Guy from Deer Hunter. Never watched the movie Deer Hunter. I watched that new uh, Kung Fu Panda movie. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, watched Kung Fu Panda. Um, what other new movie did I watch? Um, my brother was over. We watched a few movies. Um, but yeah, Kung Fu Panda 4 was funny. Uh, we watched that migration movie with the ducks. <laughs> okay. Uh, it was in both the Godfather movies. Yeah, Val Pacino says he was a genius actor. Then. You know, you're, you're looking at a pretty decent actor. I've always liked, like... Um, uh, I've always liked uh, Tom Hanks as an actor. Um, um, yeah, I've, Tom Hanks is one of my all-time favorite actors. Um, along with, uh, believe it or not, Sylvester Stallone. Um, even though... At times, you can't understand what he says in the movies that he's doing. But, you know, as for an actor, you know, he played the role that he was, like, he basically wrote the role that he was playing, but he he made a very good, convincing Rocky Balboa. He made a very good, convincing John Rambo. You know, like, and... In Demolition Man, he, he brought out his funny side. <laughs> um, another actor that I, or another actress that I, uh, that I really appreciate is uh, Sandra Bullock. I've watched a bunch of Sandra Bullock's movies, and I, I think a lot of them are just fabulous. Like, uh, Love Potion Number Nine, uh, when she was young. Um, then there was. Uh, uh, Something about proposal or the proposal, um, uh, the blind side, fantastic movie. Oh, has anybody ever seen any of those animal chiropractor uh, videos where the guy does chiropractory on dogs and cats and horses and whatever like that? I watched this one where the guy did a did chiropractor on his pug. You know, the pug with the, the bang in face. <laughs> he was doing doing you know on the neck, and he's sitting there playing with the dog, and the dog's sitting there loving it up. And all of a sudden, he went, and the dog just looked, looked at him like, "What you talking about, fool? What are you doing that for?" Oh yeah, he helps the dog. Like, no question about it. He's doing great justice. For those animals, like, and the guy is a total animal lover. He's a doctor that takes care of that kind of stuff. <clears throat> but the reactions to the animals give to this guy here when he goes, <clears throat> funny as hell. 
Like you can almost imagine what's on their mind. Like, what the hell you call that? You know, like if a dog could talk, that'd be the funniest thing. I I was thinking about doing some reactions, uh, some reaction spoof kind of, you know, ad lib uh, video like that. But I don't know how to classify it in the um, copyright section. So, <laughs> well, there was a guy, he, he did it on a pit bull. He was sitting there, and this pit bull was fighting him and fighting him and fighting him. He was growling. And all of a sudden, he went, and the dog was like, ran out from between his legs, turned around, come back, and growled at him in a little bit. And then he realized, hey, wait a minute, I don't have a headache anymore. He started licking the guy's face. I was like, damn, that dog knew that he's not there to hurt him. I thought that was so cute, you know. Dog sitting there, Purr. hey, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, I had a, a German Shepherd when I was growing up. My favorite dog uh, that I had growing up. Because it was basically my dog. Uh, I was about nine or ten years old, and I got this full-grown German Shepherd on a leash, and the leash is like this. There is no tension in that leash whatsoever. If I slowed down, the dog slowed down. If I sped up, the dog sped up. He stood right by my side the entire time I was out having a walk with him. When they say dog is man's best friend or dog is your best friend. That dog was my best friend. That dog stood there. I miss that dog. But uh, yeah, I was thinking about doing some reactions. Uh, reactions or uh, I don't even know what you would call that kind of video where you know I do uh, ad libs for the animals. Uh, I, I thought about doing some of those videos just to see, see what's going on, see what, see what, you know, see what I could do, uh, just for fun, just for comedy, just for having a, having a blast. Yeah. Dogs have incredible loyalty. They do. Yeah. Cats, not on the, uh, cats, not so much. Cats don't come over. They'll, they'll let you pet them a couple of times and then, and then they want to bite your hand off. Try not to laugh videos. I don't know, because I'll be laughing my ass off myself. So, like, uh, <laughs> some of them are just too funny. The way the dog just looks at the, looks at the guy who just cracked his neck going, I'm talking about Willis. Like, what in the hell do you call that? <laughs> you know, just. I thought about it, you know, I might try, I still might try it out. Um, you know, just one of those things. Uh, I might I might try it out just for fun, just to see if there's any interest in it, see if there's any, uh, if there's people that like it or whatever like that. I might, might give it a shot. Now, mind you, I'll have to do a major disclosure or, um, yeah, disclosure at the beginning that I'm not, you know, I'm actually promoting their video, promoting the, the health and well-being of the animals. I'm just doing a reaction to what could be going on in the animal's mind when this is going on. I think that would be funny. <clears throat> I'd have to pre-record that and, uh, you know, basically put that at the beginning of every video. I think that, I think I think I might try that out this summer, you know, sometime. Just try it out, fire it out. You know, it might be just might might be just an extra video like on a Tuesday or a Thursday or something like that. And if it if it works out, I might just add it into the rotation, you know. But uh, I I think it I think it'd be fun to to you know add something like that in there. You know, just a reaction of a different style of video, you know. This way here we can get some different content and stuff like that going on. 
But that's about the only thing I've been thinking of lately. Uh, yeah, mountain lions are, oh, like when it comes to the bigger cats, like mountain lions, cheetahs, panthers, lions, tigers, um, uh, leopards, those animals are beautiful. Like the, the stripes and spots and the different colors on them and the power and the, the grace that they walk around and, and run around in. Fantastic. Lynx. Another very beautiful animal. House cat. Basically, most of the time that you see a house cat, it's on its side sleeping. It is the laziest animal. Yeah, yeah, they're uh, they're uh, they're good animals for uh, an like dogs and cats. They can sense human aura, and as it ch as the human aura changes due to health concern, a hundred thousand times better than a human. Like a cat, somehow can basically tell if a woman is pregnant <laughs> months before, like. Like, you know, long before she even does the test. Like, basically, that cat would be able to tell the minute that sperm touched the egg. You know, oh, you're going to have a baby. You know, for some reason, cats have the ability to do, like, be have the ability, cats and dogs have the ability to, to sense differences in our health makeup. If you had a dozen people lined up with all different ailments, and only one of them didn't have an ailment, that you could you could you could send a dog along, and the dog would ignore the one person that does not have any ailments. Yeah, Labrador dogs can smell cancer. Yeah. Just like freaking German Shepherds are really good at smelling drugs. How they got that ability? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to, uh, been about almost an hour. I'm going to, uh, start winding this thing down and, uh, close her down for the night. Then go for a smoke, have a coffee. And to finish up my day. Uh, so uh, I want to thank you all for showing up. And thank you, Kiki and Jasmine, for your wonderful donation. I believe it was Kiki and Jasmine. Yes, it was Kiki and Jasmine. I thank you very much for your your donation. Um, and I thank you all for your, your time and for your watch hours that you've been watching my videos. I really appreciate that very much. We've been kind of holding steady, you know, for the, the watch hours. So that's that's a positive thing um i wish everybody peace love and happiness and i hope everybody stays safe have a great night everybody see you see you next week